Hello everybody, Sifter again with another Vampire Survivors run. And today we'll try to create the most powerful Mutashi build possible. So um, yeah, the build's gonna be like Spellbinder, Bracer, Candelador for damage related stuff and Spinach and Duplicator, all that's damage related stuff. Bracer is actually damage by the way. And then uh, Attractor for utility and Empty Tome and Stone Mask from the library for free. I will get the book because it's insane, and then we're gonna go Bones from uh, from the fact that we're Motashi all world because it's insane. Rune Tracer because I've been told that it's insane. Uh, Death Spiral because it's part of the build, why not? And then most likely Hellfire because having a bunch of projectiles on Hellfire is in my opinion a bit better than Holy Wand. Although I've been told that Holy Wand is very good because it, um, it has a lot of pushback and keeps you safe. Stay away from me. I lost half my life. Start with the book right away, we got the good start for once. For once he says while well, actually <laughs> most of the time we start with the book anyway up oh, let's continue whoop splitty 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 start gaining some xp we got an axe and a magic one let's go for the axe obviously i'm saying obviously because uh the book the the wand is like a 50 50 if it's gonna be in the part of the build while the axe is guaranteed theoretically i could just go for laurel obviously here theoretically i could just go for um the garlic in the beginning to get so much XP that I power through everything. I'm not sure if that's actually a good idea. But let's start going to the left, not not the right left. Candlador here, Candlabrador, Candlabrador. What? Is it a dog or is it a candle? Dance. <laughs> it's everything. It's a Candlabrador. Continue picking up XP. Would like to have some range at some point, you know, a tract orb or whatever it's called. Do some life. Continue moving. You know what? Let, let's go to the left. Let's go to the left. Start, start start finding the book, the tome, whatever it's called. Your opponents here too. Axe. Spellbinder is also part of the build. So always pick things that are part of the build early. As uh, it will reduce the risk of the build actually getting broken. By you not finding the items you want. I mean, the reason the items you want are part of the build is because they are good with the items you have. So it doesn't make sense to say, no, no, but I want to level up first the King Bible. I mean, <laughs> we just got the King Bible with the bad choices for the rest. So Also in the beginning, I mentioned the build so that you have an idea of what I will go for. Should I do that or should I just go into the run? By the way, uh, before you answer that, I want to mention that uh, this is most likely my last forced run no I, I will also do some other forced runs i will try to do a forced run on the worst items because a bunch of people like mentioned that without using the books etc it's most likely gonna be like an insta lose or something i will do some other stuff to maybe pick up only the first thing and whatever happens happens you know there are some ideas and at some point later after that i will try to go maybe with whatever appears appears we found the bracer which is part of the build as i said uh, the books going around faster is the reason why I picked up Bracer. And uh, also the Rune Tracer, which I haven't gotten yet. But uh, that's also a reason for the Bracer that are useful. Let's go through all this. Let's continue. Rune Tracer is here. Very nice. We just missed one more skill. With that skill being either the blue wand or the red wand. So we have picked up the good things. I think I should go for the wand. People have told me that the good thing with the wand, the blue wand, the good thing with the blue wand is that it supposedly has a lot of pushback, so you can keep everything at bay. But the red wand definitely does more damage. Uh, let's go for the axis here. I will go for the red wand, forget it. I'm gonna go red wand. Maybe I will do a pushback build at some other point. What's the pushback build gonna look like? Most likely it's gonna look like this one, <laughs> plus the blue one instead of the red one. Maybe I should maybe I should go for the blue one to be honest. Still don't know. I don't know. On the one hand, you know, I have used the magic ones here. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's trust people. Said no one ever. Let's trust people on the internet. <laughs> I mean, we know how powerful the red wand is, so might as well try to see if the blue wand is good. But Sift, you said in the beginning you were gonna try to create the most powerful build this character has. Yes, but uh, the thing is that I don't know what that would be. <laughs> uh, bone, magic wand, rune tracer. Ah, I'm gonna go with rune tracer, as I have been told that it's insane. Just following, gu not guides, just following people's opinions. 
And if in the at the end of the day, the thing is, uh, maybe it was already a mistake that I picked up the blue wand. The the idea of the red wand with Mortachio is that it shoots permanently. Yeah, the uh, the classic instant regret sift. <laughs> The classic instant regret sift, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. If um, you know what, if anything, I want to see this pushback thing that people talk about. So better the blue ones, especially because with the Lambra Crabra door, whatever it's called, um, the box will have a bunch of AOE, so they're gonna be very far away from us. I'm gonna be about here, so having something to push opponents back from the middle is really good for us. So let's go for the Laurel here. And start building up the insane Laurel. While slowly going to the left. Slowly going to the left. Pick up XP. And run back over to the left. No, 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 we're not gonna go over there. I don't know why the game has like a preference of throwing opponents to the right side. I guess it's because... I, I don't know. I really don't know. I was about to guess, but to be real, I really don't know. Yeah, if I go to the right... Look how many opponents are to the right. Let's continue. I like how the books appear pretty fast. I need two more items and then I can go and pick up my uh, the book, which hopefully will appear today. Attractor is here, very nice. Now I'm missing one more item and then we go off to the left. What item are we missing? What item are we missing? Seriously. We are missing the... the multiple projectiles, which is not really that easy to get. Is there a reason why it should not be easy to get, though? I don't think there is a reason why it should not be easy to get. Oh, nice. We got another Bible. Very good spot, too, because now I can go and pick up some XP. Get some levels. Nope. We lost the full defense. Oh, we got it. So we're full items. Now we run to the left. Go and pick up our book for free. And then we go and run to the right to pick up our uh, damage for free. Uh, not damage. Money gain. Money gain for free. So we found the book here. I have been told that there is always, always, always two books. So I should just continue going to the left to pick up another free book, which uh, pretty much translates to another free level. And then I should run to the right to pick up the um, statue money head. I don't even know what exactly that is. Nice. Also, another thing I have been told is that there is no reason for me to try to get the red book because these books, if you have the right upgrades, they last on their own almost infinite. So the difference isn't that big. But uh, I don't think I can choose to not pick up the <laughs> insane book as uh, you definitely want duration for the books to last that long. So if you want or not, it doesn't matter. At level, wh Where are all the opponents? Do you remember when I said that opponent spawn on the right is extremely stupid? Yeah, look at this. I go to the right, everything's in front of me. I go to the left, nothing is here. Isn't this stupid? I think it's very stupid that this is how it's made. I think it should always prioritize to spawn opponents to the side you're walking to instead of the opposite. Because then you always have to go left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, forget it, forget it, forget the book, forget the book. I'm wasting so much XP gathering here just to get a book to skip one level, which is insanely stupid. So just let's just run to the right. And now it doesn't have now, now infinite opponents appear. Okay, th that's why I'm always running to the right, by the way. I went ahead and read all the comments from previous videos. And... Um, yeah, people were saying to not run to the right, but run to the left, because on the left you find the book. Yeah, I do agree, before I knew that, but I was running to the right because I realized that opponents spawn to the right and not to the left. I don't know why this is made like that. Uh, let's level up the axes to maybe get the legendary axe in time. In time for what, you might ask? Mm, nothing. <laughs> there is nothing pushing us. Whoop. We lost the stack of laurel. Let's continue going upwards. Man, I feel a bit dizzy. Uh, second day of the VAC. So maybe that's why I do that. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Seven minute mark already. That does not look well. Uh oh That does not look well. We go for the King Bible. I prefer to waste... Yeah, I prefer to get the King Bible over pretty much anything. No matter how close the axe is. Even if the axe was level 7 and the next choice was, was gonna go for level 8 and the Bible was level 6 and the next choice would be seven, level 7, I would still go for the Bible. It's so much more important. Nope, let the food exist. Continue zigzagging here. 
And I know that people might get, uh, like, bored or tired from seeing the Bible, but uh, I promise... Now we go for the next though. I promise that I will do meme runs. I will do trash runs. I will use items that I haven't used. I will do all that. I will try also to create a build that tries to beat the... Um, not beat, but survive from the um, Reapers at the very end. I have some ideas for this game. But right now, I still want to experiment with the most powerful builds. Uh, because you have to know how powerful the most powerful builds are. To understand how trash the most trashy builds are. Now, somebody told me there is a chance that... First of all, let's pick this up. Rune Tracer. Somebody told me that there is a chance that legendary items are blocked behind a time wall. On the other on the other hand, people say that the chests decide what they're gonna be before the moment they drop. A bunch of different opinions. Mod? No, not mod. Uh, like, creator, dev, if you see this... Could you like comment down below something like, yo, I'm the dev and uh, in reality chests work like this and that and that. Would be really nice. And I'm pretty sure some other people are gonna come and join the comments and gonna be like, yo, Sift, I watched the... You can just go and see it at the wiki. <laughs> I mean, if it's on the wiki, then maybe. Okay, maybe whoever comments that is right. <laughs> Let's go with a tractor, start picking up more XP. As you see, the books almost last forever, but they don't. Let's pick up the right side. Uh, let's go with bone. I should have gone with duration, actually. Nope. Let's continue. Because the moment I get duration, this will pretty much last forever. Uh, yeah, let's go with duration. Now the book should almost last forever. But see, if, if it levels up, it will all the way anyway last forever. Yes, but everything else I have also lasts forever. Uh, let's go with bracer, which means damage. The books go faster and faster. Go back, pick up some extra. I don't think there is any reason for me to go to the left. Oh, to the right side always has more than whatever the left side has. Let's continue. The only sad thing here is uh, just because of the fact that this is supposed to be the most powerful Mutashi run, I will not see the version with the fire because I don't want to do two times the same run, right? So <laughs> it's most likely just gonna be this attempt. The books almost last forever. If I get one more cooldown or duration, this should be books. Yep. And now it is actually forever. Did I miss the mask? I don't think I missed the mask. Imagine if I missed the mask. Well, if I did, comment down below. Tell me. Tell me. Yes, you missed the mask at the 8 minute mark. Uh, Bracer is damage. Bracer is damage because it makes the book go faster, by the way. In case you don't know. And also it makes the Rune Tracer go faster, which means it will do more bounces. And pretty much everything going faster is more damage in this game. Because... Actually, not everything. Not everything. Like, uh, the, um, the... This... Uh, the wand, the blue wand, does not get damage from being faster. But uh, the... Um, the Rune Tracer and the bones that I throw out and the books get damage from that. A Laurel also doesn't get damage for that. Haha, <laughs> get the joke. Uh, let's go with Attractorb. More, more attraction means more XP. I don't really have any kind of problem with damage right now. There's no issue with that. I still don't know where I am. You know what, uh, Dev? If you see this, if you watch this... Um, if the books... The book and... Uh, let's go with Spanish. If the book and the mask are always at the same spot, we found the mask, I would suggest that you, that you add, like, numbers somewhere, right? For example, this is like a library, so it should be... There should be letters to understand where you are, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and um, that would make it so that we understand where we are on the map, because you really get lost in these maps. You, you don't understand where you are when you're playing this game. <laughs> you have no idea. It's just like a feeling, and you have to time it, and maybe you have to just slowly... Get a feeling for it. Like, it takes it, it takes two, one and a half minute to go to the left to find the book, and then the next book is two minutes to the left, and then the mask is five minutes to the right. But it would be a lot more, you know, consistent and also more well-made, in my opinion, if you know, the library had, like, numbers or letters in it. Because then you would understand where you are, and you would not feel like you're lost. And now we will gain a bunch of XP because I've just picked up magnetism. Continue with the tract orb because we still do insane amounts of damage without any risk whatsoever. 
as long as you do damage, you should always go for utility first. When you stop getting doing infinite damage and killing everything in one or two shots, then you go for uh, pretty much anything else. Do I still get XP? What is happening? Look at all the rune tracers bouncing around, and I'm I'm not even level 60. I think Mortashu is the most powerful character in this game, by far. Because that plus two projectiles is insane. It's insane. It's it's truly insane. Look how look how the books look. They don't normally look like that. They don't they are not really like such concise like they're not so much stacked up to each other. I should stop opening up the um, candles. You know what I should do? No, I, I, I have not I don't have the choice to not open up candles. Forget what I was about to say. I was about to say to maybe you know try to spawn a bunch of candles and not open them. But uh, that's not a thing. <laughs> that's not a thing at all. Let's go with Laurel. Let's get some safety in here. And everything is dying. What is doing the hundreds of damage? Sometimes... Oh, the axes. Now the axes are insane. Look at this. Spinach. Mm, yeah, spinach. Let's continue this. Spinach is damage. Damage is clear speed. Although I already one-shot everything, so right now it doesn't matter. But it will matter later, and uh, you won't know when it will matter, so just pick it up. Okay, now we definitely go for the stacks on Laurel. And now I will start trying to level up the wand, so that I have a chance to get the ultimate wand. As it's still level 2, I think. Which is pretty dangerous. I could start running to the left, but... But... We know that more opponents spawn to the right. I mean, look, do you, look how many here spawn. Let's go to the left and see if it's the same. I mean, the, the moment I decided to do that, a bunch of opponents appeared. But I still believe the right side has more opponents. I don't know. I, I might be wrong about it. I mean, I don't think I am wrong about it. Honestly, I don't think I'm wrong about it. Let's go through them. Uh, the reason I don't think I'm wrong about it is because, uh, because of what happened previously, right? Not, right now, there are like 50 or, uh, I don't know, 50, 60, 20. I don't know. There are a bunch of opponents on the screen right now. So it's not really visible if uh, the right side or the left side does more. But previously, when there were like five enemies on the screen, the left side had zero. <laughs> and the right side had like five. So spinach for damage. I don't know. I really don't know. It always feels like the moment I go to the left... Like, look at this. It, it always feels like there are infinite opponents here. Right? It feels like there are so many. And then when I go to the left... Okay, I see a bunch, but then they stop being a bunch. And then when I go to the right, it's, again, infinite. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe somebody can look into the code. Maybe somebody has already figured everything out and has written it on the wiki. I, I really don't know. This is uh, for the dev to know. But uh, things like these are really important in these games, right? Knowing if that the right side spawns more opponents than the left side. Knowing that uh, how much life some things have, how much damage things do. All these things are actually important in these games. By the way, this, the, where are these shooting? Do you see that they're shooting to the left? They're supposed to attack the closest opponent. Where's my mouse? Okay, let's get the axes. Yep, the scythes. The scythes. Opponents aren't even coming close to us. Do you see this? <laughs> no matter what I do, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's start this. I think people that said Rune Tracer is insane were right. Good thing I'm listening to you guys. I trust you. Trust everybody. Don't forget to join the Discord, by the way. In case you want to, you know, discuss anything. I am looking into my server and talking with people there. Let's go with cooldown. Scythes. The scythes are almost... No. I was about to say the scythes are almost a full circle, but they're not. And they are an exact circle. I was about to say they almost stack twice. I think one scythe goes twice. Let me look at this. Nope. Every single scythe is unique. It would be nice if I had one more projectile so that the top side would have two sides. I mean, it wouldn't do any difference, to be honest, but whatever. Yeah, nothing seems to be getting close to us. I want to see what this will look like at the 25-minute mark. Uh, Laurel? I would say... One of the most powerful items. Somebody told me I was like 6 seconds immune when I run through stuff. Does Laurel last that long? It feels like every... It feels like the Laurel shield lasts about one and a half seconds each. 
maybe then it is about 4.5 4 seconds if you have full stacks and just run through all opponents. I don't know. All of these things need experimentation, right? I mean, maybe the wiki has the numbers for the world, so this particular one might not be experimentation, but you have to calculate also that the duration is bigger, and then you also have to calculate the cooldown, and uh, does... What is this? And uh, does the cooldown... Does it, maybe the cooldown works? If the cooldown starts counting down or not, uh, while you have the shield getting popped, that's also another metric of how much lore lasts, right? Because if the cooldown is like three seconds and the first two uh, and the first three shields last for four seconds, then while you are shielded, do you get the shield back and then it goes up to six seconds or how does all that work? Bunch of questions getting asked today from Sift. <laughs> A bunch of questions. I mean, I'm still talking about the game. I see myself easily in about, I don't know, three or four videos after this, start going with whatever story I want to talk to you about and it's gonna be the story game. <laughs> This is the game <laughs> at which I speak with you guys about things I'm thinking about. <laughs> Maybe. Feels like a fever dream. Feels like a fever. Going zigzag. Continue. Ah, uh, let's go with magic wand. Let's go on and on. On and on and on. And on and on and on. Yeah, this looks decent. This seemed uh, this uh, this really feels more powerful than yesterday's quote unquote uh, best farm run. That that run might not have been the best farm run, by the way. <laughs> um, I mean, right now it might be a bit clickbaity yesterday's title, but uh, wh when I was shooting the video, I thought it was gonna be the best run. So I guess ah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I should really, really, really start like paying attention to is that I should stop being as I have as people have told me stop being off putting myself like sh stop nagging a bunch a bunch a bunch about a bunch of stuff um, and overall stop being like complaining all the time at least that's what I think I've been told although on the other hand it doesn't feel like I'm complaining most of the time I'm like most of the time I'm just stating my opinion on something I think is bad is that complaining? I guess that is complaining. I don't know. I don't know. I have my opinions and I express them. And most of my opinions are negative, I guess. <laughs> that would be a fair assessment of what is happening. <laughs> I don't know why, though. I think that I'm, I might be doing that on my, my real life, too. I mean, most of the time, I'm like a person that is not getting excited a lot. When I, I, when I like something, I'm like, yeah, I like it. But when I when something is when I I don't like something then I'm like yeah it's trash, <laughs> so um, I'm more in the negatives. But I'm not like a negative person. Does that make sense? Like in my real life and I think in YouTube too. Like I'm I'm overall I'm a positive person. I'm all the time like happy and I'm all the time in everything. If if somebody wants to do something, I'm always with it with the crew with the team. Always yes go go go. But um, when when it comes to when it, when it comes to reviewing something or when it comes to like stating an opinion about something if if it's not something i believe is good or awesome or at least neutral then the other side is instant complaining like you could do this 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 why don't you fix that 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 right if something is at least neutral most of the time i'm okay it's it's decent it exists bravo but if something is if if something when i feel that like something has some kind of negative aspect then i just focus on that like especially in movies and series i do that a lot i think like uh, what can i say like uh, the, the most the thing i complain most of the time in movies is when people make mistakes just because the scenario needs to somehow happen so that's one of my main concerns anyway as you see we, we just begun with uh sift is talking about random stuff <laughs> um which by the way I I never thought I would be able to do that, right? Like, I when I started this channel, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be always explaining what I do because that's what I do, in, and uh, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at explaining what's happening and why I'm doing what I'm doing. But um, I always thought like, how, how can like YouTubers just start a story in the middle of a game like this? And um, yeah, I really like that. At this point, I slowly start to be able to talk about pretty much anything. By the way, th this build is broken. I think if I don't move like at all, nothing will come even remotely close to us. 
But I need to move because I want XP. Uh, let's go with cooldowns. I will leave gold gain for last. You know what's important right now? I, I, I want to really see if I'm going to get more money than yesterday or not. Yesterday I got about 7,000. So if I get more than 7,000 today, then yesterday's run is pretty much a lie. <laughs> but uh, if I get less... I mean, yesterday I didn't get the mask though. Yeah, I can't really compare these two. I mean, you know what? If actually, if I actually get less money today than yesterday while I have the mask today, then that definitely proves that yesterday's build is a better farm build. But I don't have luck today, and luck definitely um, adds up to how much money you get from the chests and stuff. I think. <laughs> so many things that I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go with AoE. The books start going more away by the minute. The AoE of the books becomes bigger and bigger. I'm zigzagging. I'm still waiting for the... Oh, we got a bat here. Bat's toast. And one of those, which is a pretty useless. Duration? Actually, no, it's not useless. The Rune Tracer cares about duration. And as you see, the Rune Tracers have actually become pretty huge. <laughs> Uh, duration, obviously. We're gonna lev let money gain for last. Leave money gain for last. Obviously, as that's the most useless one. And also, it only it only is important when you open chests. And you open how many chests? Five? I, I think I have like five more chests to open. Maybe four, maybe three. So it isn't really that important. It, it will just add like 50 or 100 coins. Not that crazy of a difference. I think it's zigzagging. Ah, continue gaining XP. And uh, we are almost at the 23 minute mark, so in a bit we will get a bunch of opponents stomping around us. And then when the boss appears, then the end is nigh. Uh, I have high hopes for this game, by the way. It's uh, Right now it's at version 0 0.25. I mean, that does definitely not mean that it's 25% done. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. But um, I really hope that what this game gets, I I'm gonna now say big numbers, but that is really what this game needs, okay? I think this game needs three or four more stages, with every of the stage have um, a unique item that you can easily pinpoint and find, right? So this stage, for example, has the books and then the mask. I want some other stages that give me the bracers. I want, wait, did I skip a chest? No, I skipped a chest. How far away is that chest? Please don't tell me... You know what? Instead of going to the left, uh, I'm gonna, like, pause the footage here for just half a sec. No, can I pause? Yeah, let me pause and see how far that back is. Okay, uh, watch my footage. It dropped at the 23-minute mark, so it should be close by. Let's just go and pick that up. Yeah, I was saying, uh, the, the, what the game needs, in my opinion, uh, like, in general, 5 to 10 stages, with every one of them having a unique item that you can get from them, so that uh, it makes sense for you to want to... You know, play a different stage. Because right now, like, the first stage, even if it has a unique item hin hidden somewhere in it, I don't want to play that stage. I, I don't know where the item is, and even if I knew where the item is, I don't think I can even know where to, how to get to it. I mean, may maybe it's easy to get, but I definitely don't know how to get it. And even if it is, I still prefer the book plus the mask. So, yeah. As I said, 5 to 10 stages, everyone having their unique items. Then I would say about... 20 to 30, yes, I'm saying big numbers, but I believe that. This game is like 20 to 30 more weapons and about 10 or 15 more passives. And then I also believe there should be like a mode where you can have more weapons just to become more broken. But the idea of that mode would be to maybe beat the, you know, maybe beat the, what is he called, the Grim Reaper or or something like that, right? Because if anybody know, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the Grim Reaper appears at the 30 minute mark and you just die. And uh, if you have freeze and stuff, you can survive from him. But after a, a minute, another one spawns, and then after a minute, another one spawns. So a bunch of Reapers appear and you pretty much die because you cannot kill them. So it would be awesome if you could kill the Reaper, even though he had like million HP, and then like make a mode out of it why not give us 10 slots for weapons 10 slots for items and let us fight reapers again and again and again and make the reapers be a lot like after like five minutes for example at the 35 minute mark instead of spawning one reaper at a time you just spawn 10 reapers and then it becomes like a reaper fest i i don't know you can do so many things with this 
Uh, let's open this up. There is no reason for me to wait. By the way, I think people that told me that this is the most powerful build are actually correct. I can, if I want, I can just not move and nothing is going to happen like ever. Yeah, look at this. This is insane. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I obviously can um, say my, I can, you know, say yes to the mistakes I do. Let's go pick up some XP. No freezes. So bad. You know what I'm going to do? Change of plans. I'm going to stay like here at the bottom. I'm not going to move. I'm going to let a bunch of opponents just slowly come and die. Uh, I don't think I will have any problem whatsoever here. I have the machine gun to push them back. I have the books if they come too close. I have the... Um... Yeah, look at this. First of all, Rune Tracer, everything stays away. One. Two. Um... Yeah, look at the defenses. First defense, Rune Tracer. Everything goes around, everything gets bounced, everything gets pushed back. Second defense, the axes. They hit everything once in a while, push them even more back. Third defense, the bones. Pushes everybody away, and if they come too close, the closer opponents are, the better the, better the bones become. So, it's the worse I am off, the better the bones become. Then, next line of defense is the books, which, as you see, doesn't even do anything. So, theoretically, I could have the flames instead of the books here, which would be fun. And then, as my last defense, I have the laurel, which gives us, like, four seconds of survivability. So, this is definitely the most powerful build that uh, I have ever done. Let's start going for some XP pickups here. Go pick up some XP. Wait, why don't I get so many levels? I should have gotten like a bunch of levels here. Okay, maybe I should be running around to, uh, picking up XP. Because it feels like if I'm not moving, I don't get that much. Am I right about that? I'm not sure if I am right about that. But that's what it feels like. Let's maybe just move in circles. I can just move in circles and pick up some XP. And uh, if I see that things go sideways, I just stay in the middle and don't do anything. Look at this, look at this. I don't even need to do anything. And the Rune Tracer are shooting out every second. Can you see how many Rune Tracers I'm shooting out every single second? Yeah, I don't see us losing. This is insane. Th this build is insane. This is literally unlosable. Best build in the game. But, I have to say, we I don't see us getting 7,000 coins. I don't see us getting 7,000 coins. So the farm build still stays. And the farm build didn't even have the... Actually, you know what? Let, let's first let's first <laughs> see what happens at the end. And then we can decide. Because I know for a fact that about the 28 to 29 minute mark, there will appear some opponents that give us red XP. And red XP is a lot more than blue and green XP that I get right now. So the the score is not counted until the, the run ends. Let's, uh, let's, let's not talk about what the numbers are right now. As I will eat my words for sure. <laughs> the next one is gonna be a lot bigger. Man, I am in no danger. Oh, we start picking up Red XP now. I'm in no danger whatsoever. This is insane. This is insane. Maybe not move to get some kills. Nah, if anything, moving gets me more kills. By having the books also do damage. This is insane. I love it. I love that I found the one the most broken build. Most likely the most broken build, right? Oh, we lost the shield. Oh no. <laughs> I'm obviously joking because there is no oh no here. <laughs> the random bosses die without me knowing. Nice. And we got 400 coins from that. I think the... M yeah, I think the main part of this not... Okay, let's 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 first see the score at the end, and I'm gonna I'm gonna express my opinions on why this gave us more or less money than the previous one. As if that makes sense, right? If I have an opinion right now that is about to say why I will get less money, then why would my opinion be logical if I get more money? <laughs> you understand what I mean? Right now I have an opinion of why I think I will get less money, but if I get more money, I will on the spot like change my opinion and say why I think we got more money. <laughs> um, but right now my opinion is that I think we get we got more money the other time because, first of all, luck. Nah, I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I th I, I do actually think that Apoca the the pentagram giving popping all of these and giving us a million red did the trick. But let, let's first end this and then we're gonna say... If anything, if we get now more money, then that just means that the Rune Tracer 
gives a lot more uh, kills, so therefore money. And uh, right now, it's really important to to try to pick up all the XP because in we're about to die. We're about to die. Ah, Laurel save us XP. We die. We die. And we got less. We did actually get less. We got six 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 sixty. Yeah, so my, yeah, I, I was not wrong. Yesterday's video is not a clickbait. Indeed, this run was indeed a lot stronger. Like, this was leagues, leagues more powerful than the yesterday run. Yesterday, I almost lost. I needed the pentagram to keep us alive, which you never want to have the pentagram to keep you alive. <laughs> if if your if your tactic of staying alive is a, 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 a weapon that has one minute cooldown, yeah, you got some problems already. So, yesterday's run... Was not clickbait, definitely. This this run was insanely powerful. Also, people tell me to not look the DPS because you don't understand numbers with that, really. Magic Wand? Yeah, Unholy Whispers did a lot. All of them were a lot. Maybe, Unho maybe Holy Wand should have been the flame weapon for even more damage, but I don't think it would make any difference. I think Rune Tracer was the main uh, DP, the main god here, alongside Death Spiral doing a bunch of damage. Yeah, uh, whoever told me that Rune Tracer is insane, is right. This 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 is insane as a weapon. So right now, these three, in my opinion, are the three most powerful weapons in the game. Now, if uh, the flame wand is also there, I wouldn't know. But these three are definitely insane. If you have these three, you should not be able to lose. Right? These are insane. And then also Laurel for the safety precautions. But um, yeah, the run was definitely the most powerful run I have done yet. And I don't think I can create a more powerful run than this. So tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to promise anything, but um, I, I will try to create a survive against the Reaper build. Maybe? Something like books, like the exact same thing, but without having the Holy Wand and by having the Clock Lancet. And that's the problem, isn't it? That if I want to create something awesome, it has to be almost the same thing every time. So maybe tomorrow I'm going to do something like the whip build. Yeah, I'm going to think about something unique like whip and swords, something like that. So I will try to create something unique tomorrow and we'll upload that, right? By the way, it's a version 2.7. I don't even know why I said 25. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely like the run. If, if you did, first of all, drop a like, subscribe the channel, and also makes it so the algorithm shows you more of my stuff. You know, classic, uh, classic stuff. And don't forget to join the Discord, because let's let's uh, let's start building a community over there, so that we we start having a more active Discord. Why not? And um, yeah, I, I was about to say, I think we got less money for two reasons. <laughs> now, now is the point where I where I say my opinion that I had uh, already previously established. First of all, I think actually it's only Pentagram. There is nothing else to explain. Uh, uh, two things. First of all, Pentagram, because although the true the Rune Tracer most likely gave us more levels, actually, if somebody can go back in the footage, ah, it's it's gonna be a bit, a bit of job, a bit too much. But if somebody wants to calculate the differences and just comment it down below, like yesterday, how many levels did I get from Pentagram after the 26, 27 minute mark when the Pentagram popped and gave me like five levels back to back? I think it happened like twice. So the Pentagram on its own gave me like 10 levels. And how many levels did I get with the, all the build? Yeah, and I think that's a big difference, right? So after the 25 minute marks, how many levels did I get? I can just look at it right now. Let me let me look at it and exp give, give me just a second. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, regardless of uh, how many... So today I ended the run at 101 level or 102 or something like that. You know my memory is trash, so I instantly forgot the numbers, right? But yesterday I ended the run about 125 levels. So already 25 levels up. Let's say 20 levels up. That 20 levels is 25 times 20. That would be uh, 500 coins, which that was pretty much our difference, right? So about 500, maybe 1,000 coins is the difference. Now, obviously, the reason why I got more money yesterday is because I had the crown while today I didn't have it. And uh, also, yesterday I had the character with more XP, which today I didn't have that. So XP gives you money pretty much. And uh, if I had yesterday the stone mask, I would definitely gain like... Instead of 7,000, I would have gained about 9,000, maybe 10, depending on how fast I would pick up the mask. So the the the, the idea of yesterday still stands, right? I Maybe the pentagram is not a good idea. Maybe you should run into Thrun Tracer for more money. But still, the whole idea of uh, farm run against the most powerful run exists. This is definitely the most powerful run, at least the one I have run. I don't see how you could lose with this. Um, maybe Hellfire would be better than Holy One, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, now, I believe, as I said, this game definitely needs a lot more. I, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. 
I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna try the whip build just for the memes. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna see. It's more, if, if I'm gonna do the whip build, it's most likely gonna be more Tashio again. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Maybe comment down below about some opinions, what to do. Uh, I mean, you know, there are the classics. Like, pick random items all the time or, you know, just whatever. Okay, I, I, will, I will do those at some point. We will try to pick up the worst items at some point. <laughs> Garlic. Uh, but, um, yeah. I have some ideas. And uh, if you have some ideas too, I could play them. Anyway, that's going to be it for today though. So, once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.